We're here at 39 Rue de Jean. They get lots of great feedback on the boards of having really great French food. And they've been around for decades. They have a Parisian environment inside and all the French classics. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Opening in 2001, 39 Rue de Jean has been providing great French cuisine in the downtown Charleston area for decades. The interior was designed to resemble a French brasserie, so as you step through the doors, you are transported to Paris, France. The vibe inside is a great mix of both casual and elegant. And don't let the amount of tables in here fool you. This place fills up fast. Reservations are definitely important. You can make them on the Open Table app. I always enjoy when I go to these downtown places and they have that historic red Charleston brickwork everywhere. 39 Rue de Jean is part of the Holy City Hospitality Group and they have a club you can join where you'll receive a discount on your meal. A couple other big names on there are Coasts and Virginia's on King. Now we profile Virginia's on King and I'll leave you a link at the end of this video. They have a great bar area and a cute little booze that only seat two people as well as this large banquet area in the back if you have a large crowd to entertain. And now that we're heading into the spring months, why not dine on their outdoor patio right outside? So as you can see, there are a lot of unique seating options available. Now my wife got a drink called the Getaway Car and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the ingredients, but it was nice and sweet and fruity and light. They have a very extensive drink menu and possibly one of the longest wine lists I've seen at a restaurant. Being the bourbon lover that I am, I had to go with the Artisanal Smash, which has Maker's Mark bourbon, muddled nectar, and organic lemon juice and mint. It was lightly sweet, but it didn't overpower that great bourbon flavor. The bread arrives piping hot with a nice soft butter that's really easy to spread. And that bread is going to come in handy because we ordered some mussels and we wanted to have something to sop up that delicious broth. If you want, please pause it here to see the variety of mussel sauces they have available. Now as for ourselves, we went with the bacon blue, which were mussels with blue cheese and lardons. Now you may not believe it by looking at it, but this is actually the small portion. Now the flavor profile on these is absolutely outstanding. You get the saltiness of the lard on, the bite of that blue cheese, and the mussels with that broth. Ah, it was delicious. And of course, what French restaurant wouldn't offer a delicious French onion soup? Now, I didn't try this myself, my mother-in-law got it, but she said it was very cheesy, and the one note she really brought out about it was it had a peppery taste to it, which is very different. And with cheese pull like that, you know it has to be good. She also got the fried goat cheese salad, which had a honey goat cheese croquettes, baby arugula, red beets, candy pecans, and a lingonberry balsamic vinaigrette. She told me the standout on this dish was, in fact, the dressing, the vinaigrette. But be very careful, they do give you a lot of arugula, so make sure you stretch out those beets and then go cheese croquettes. My wife went with the traditional Caesar salad, but she had the anchovies removed and added grilled shrimp. Now, while the salad was okay, they went very heavy on the hearts of romaine, and one other problem, the grilled shrimp itself didn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, but they were of decent size. If you order this, I would forego the shrimp. I was very excited about this dish because I haven't had Coco Van in about five years. 
As you know, Coca Van is a red wine braised chicken with braising reduction, pearl onions, bacon lardons, and mushrooms. It came with two pieces of chicken that were both thigh and leg combinations. And let me tell you, I never touched my knife. That chicken just fell right off the bone and the flavors were really on point. I was very pleased with my choice. 39 Rue de Jean gets many accolades as well as consistently winning Best French Restaurant by the Charleston City Paper. So what is my takeaway of 39 Rue de Jean? They did a great job of presenting French classics and the service here is top notch. But let me tell you, the stellar standout of the place were those mussels. They will not disappoint and they have so many different choices to choose from. So if you're looking to put a little French in your life, be sure to check out 39 Rue de Jean in downtown Charleston. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.